uh, post-colonialism or post-colonial theory more broadly. Uh, what's your first thought? Um, post-colonialism. Um, well, so the first thing that springs to mind would be um, Orientalism. Um, so um, the way in which certain um, geographies in the show are portrayed um, in a particularly exoticized way. I'm mm -hmm. thinking particularly of the Dothraki. Yeah, yeah, certainly um, there's a kind of exaggeration of difference in the very first kind of moments we see those. Yeah. Um, that particular kind of the, nation of people. The um, way in which they're kind of portrayed yeah. uh, in contrast to the Westerosi people as yes. kind of um, barbaric and kind of um, they're, they're, we're introduced to them at the wedding of, of um, uh, Daenerys mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's all very kind of um, sort of savage and, and violent yeah, yeah. Um, and and so you, you've got that sense of, of kind of uh, the exoticized other yeah absolutely and, and with that exoticized other we also have this uh, sense of the kind of a presumption of the kind of Westerosi superiority in comparison to the Dothraki kind of mm. underlying that as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It kind of has many of the things that Edward Said would have talked about uh, in relation to Orientalism all present there. And I, I think that kind of um, that kind of comes back to um, an idea of, of the way in which the show is set up via a particularly colonial gaze, mm -hmm. um, in in the sense that we are encouraged to identify. With the Westerosi, yeah, um, in the show, um, whereas the um, the characters in the show who are presented as being from Essos, um, Bravos, um, Ut, mm -hmm. uh, the Shadowlands, all of these um, kind of places in the show are kind of presented as a as an other, yes. an exoticized yeah. other. Yeah, no, it certainly has that going. But what's also interesting about that is the kind of way in which if we sort of dwell deeper into the kind of the history of the mythology that has been kind of created around these books, um, the kind of current culture of Westeros as we find it in the books and the show is actually a result of migration from the kind of continent of Essos because it is the Andals that kind of come from the north parts there who then kind of end up changing Westerosi culture and introducing kind of a different religion uh, the faith of the seven mm. onto kind of Westerosi lands. Um, yeah, because it's all it's yeah. all it's all a, a, a story about colonialism. Isn't yeah, it? So exactly. The, first, the, the Targaryen colonization of Westeros. Yeah. Um, in 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 the sort of um, big event mm. uh, that that is always kind of the big mythos that is always called back to. Yeah. And then you've got uh, the repetition of that in Daenerys's colonization of. Um, Slavers Bay, yeah. the Marine. Yeah, as much as she comes there as a kind of a liberating force for the slaves, it's she's also coming with a kind of a colonizing yeah. army. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So there's a lot of these kind of different intersections that kind of both are, and, and we could even kind of pursue that further by thinking about kind of how, there, whether there are ways we can think about uh, the resistance that uh, resist uh, that, that kind of um, Daenerys meets in Marine as being mm. somehow kind of related to a decolonial resistance in some ways, yeah. um, but it gets quite complicated because of the questions of slavery that are kind of entangled with Definitely, them. Yeah, yeah.